Welcome back. It is the face of Friday night. Peter Kibazo, Richard Baguma, Mary Goretti Nakabugo, David Pukol, and Charles Romshana. Richard. Mm. You, 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 you are raising issues of a living wage. Uh, you are raising issues of a subsistence wage. Uh, you raised the issue with me of uh, benefits against salary. Uh, 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 and you know, earlier on we touched on the issues of private schools, and public schools. There, there is, there is... Um, of course I have another issue there. Yeah, yeah. The moderation of school fees by government <laughs> in those government aided Wherever. schools. But, but anyway, yeah. carry on here. I mean, uh, I, I think listening to all of us, we have had uh, opportunity to be teachers. Uh, some of us are professional teachers, but we really don't teach, uh, you know, but, but we have a relationship uh, with teaching experiences with that. doesn't matter the level. At least mine has been in, in secondary school. Uh, one of the things, and I was asking my sister <coughs> because she's a teacher who is, in, in, who is there. And, and yeah, in the classroom. She, goes, she teaches in a, a government secondary school uh, and also a private school, particularly on the weekends. And I was asking her, the commitment you put in the private school, which pays her less, by the way, than the salary the government school gives her. Because uh, how come you have more commitment <laughs> to fulfill the syllabus, to fulfill the thing in the private school than the public one, yet you earn more? In the public one, so I think there are there are, there are issues. Uh, pay is one major issue, but I think there are more issues uh, that that we really have to think about. <coughs> Secondly, you see, I'm not sure that uh, many of us really, be the teachers, really worry about if you pay us in terms of benefits or if you pay us in in terms of cash and we go, and 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 spend on the things that we need. Uh, uh, I, I think people will be happy as long as they can subsist on, on what they're earning. Now, really, you, the, the, the challenge we have in this country, I, I don't know about the others, is that we cannot subsist on our official pay. And, and that cuts across. It's, it's terrible for the teachers, of course, uh, uh, and the nurses, and whoever you want. So I think that is, that is one critical thing. I think the other <coughs> thing, that the Goretti report, and sorry I'm calling it the Goretti report, but it's bigger, <laughs> <laughs> but it's bigger than Goretti, is, is, is the foundational element, the early childhood development uh, issue. That the, the question of, of the foundation, and you know, we have taught, we have learned a bit about education, the numeracy that she talked about, and the literacy, the, the basic, mm. at the early childhood learning, is, is, is disastrous. And you can see, when you see what is the entry level of an early childhood education trainer, trainer mm. what is the entry level? What, what do you need for them to enter? If, if I, I was asking, I say, go to any nursery teacher training institution, <laughs> and there is virtually no minimum entry. And so how do you expect, therefore, a product, and, and she talked about foundation, how do you expect a strong structure a, a, a well-grounded uh, student when the foundation was the weakest they could get. So, so salary is one, yes. Benefits is another. But what are the other supervisory issues? What are the other <coughs> systemic issues? What are the foundational challenges? And I think these, for me, must be addressed as one. Otherwise, we can increase money exponentially and we shall still have some of these challenges so so we really need to, to, to look at this uh, as a complementary uh, project Richard I, I'll go to a question that I have asked uh, this week and it's courtesy of a bit of the <coughs> list that have uh, spewed from the Kosase in Parliament the list that you're seeing salaries of uh, new vision salaries of national water salaries of whoever and 
when you look at them, and I don't begrudge anyone for earning any salary, I always say if they pay pool call 50 million, the, 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 <laughs> the only thing I should demand is not that pool call should be brought down. It is that the compression rate the, between the highest and the lowest should be reduced at least to 10 points. So that if Pulko gets uh, 50 million, I should get five at least. Why don't you use those who are <laughs> <laughs> I'll use Pulko on this please, show. Please, but please, let's be practical. But yeah. away from that, yeah. I need to understand that now. how that. are salaries determined in this country? <coughs> are they against output? Again, are they against returns to a particular organization? Or the length of stay? Are they about bargaining, that if uh, we are cases here and we can punch good weight and we can squeeze, we'll have a good bargain and we'll be rewarded as such. Yeah. Are they about generating money, like the New Vision? Because I know Robert Kabushenga and the New Vision are making money. Um, is it a reward for how much money you make? Like Richard Biarugaba is uh, collecting a lot of my money in NSSF and... Um, invests quite a bit of that. I don't know how much profit he makes finally. But uh, is it, what is it that determines pay in this country? Can we track it on an integer and say if I do A, B, C, D and Z as an organization, as a structure, as police, then my salary will be ranked at this level of the tree. I think, I think it's a combination of what you have said. A combination of or those. neither but of also, them. No, no, I think it's a combination of those. You find one, either of the reasons you have given works here and works there. But also we must, we must be, be very uh, bold to face the politics of payment. I, I always want to add the word official, <laughs> the politics of official payment, because there, is, there are lots of... Yeah, <laughs> the <side laughs> there are it. lots of things <laughs> that go under the table. So what are the politics? If you take an institution like WBS-TV, I would, I would like to stake, uh, make a stake that those politics happen, that presenter Chivazo will be earning probably higher than the general manager or something. That... That you exists. need a disclaimer there. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. That you need a disclaimer there. <laughs> but, but you see, it must be very hypothetical. Rationalization <laughs> of pay for public workers mm -hmm. must be undertaken. I agree. That is for sure. I, I don't want to go into the private realm. No, no and we are dealing with the public realm here. Yes, of, of pay for public. Now, the benefits can come as but, but who measures output <coughs> because if if my if my being put in place is a political placement and therefore for the appointing authority i'm generating the highest political points therefore i get paid like that now and and so you see those those and that's why i say we must be bold yes and face yeah. those facts and 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 for me for the teachers uh, 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 you see the, that they have had this ability hmm to organize, even in the minimum way they are organizing, and can go on strike and sustain it for a week. I mean, I think, for th I think we must give them kudos. There are not very many human beings in this country who will not sell you once you go into a struggle. Mine was to say that yes, uh, before I at, go the to moment, at the moment, who is well paid? You must be an RDC better than a teacher. You must be a DC. Well, the RDC is the yes, last sir. time I checked their salary. I, I, I wouldn't want to be one. Listen, Chief, because yeah, then, you didn't want to but be at least for sure. But at least one <laughs> except the pickup. <laughs> no, they, they have other benefits which the teachers don't have. And when you put two million, it's not small money compared to what a teacher picks. So when you put a riso, a diso, a piso, I don't know, giso, uh, giso. Anyway, let, let's come out of that bracket. But these are people, a, a, a district police commander. These are people who are keeping the, those in power in power the brigade commanders, the division CEOs, and so forth. That's where the money is. Now, when you come to a teacher... Interestingly, David, if I gave you feedback, I was talking to a DISO today of a district that I won't say, and he was whining, he was crying. But he's not he was getting saying things are worse but than see, the teachers. He's not getting 370000 a month. That would be a lie. Look at the teacher. The point I'm making is, why don't we prioritize the greatest resources Uganda has is not the oil. It's not this revenue from URA. It's our children. Yeah. 
So those who are handling those children need to be prioritized within this pay structure. Charles, I'm coming to you. I, I need to hear your feeling. Of course, someone challenged uh, this week and said, if the teachers had mobilized themselves, and I was told that government pays about 160,000 teachers, they are the largest single block of uh, people that draw their salary off the consolidated, is it off the consolidated fund? Yeah. Yeah, they are the largest single block. That's and what Mr. Beni said, if you pay them highly, it will create inflation. Mm. That inflation which is sensitive to teacher salary alone, we must ask him. Well, because of the numbers, because of the numbers. When people but, steal the money. But uh, Charles, someone was challenging and saying, if these 160,000 teachers with the multiplier effect of six against each one of them had voiced themselves politically, they would uh, get the clouds to sit down on them. That's if the they mm -hmm. decided to speak a political language, they are a massive force. force. But that alongside what they are paid as well as what the economy can afford. Because I'm very conscious also of the economy. The spiral effect. You give 10,000 uh, shillings to the teachers. What about the policemen? What about the doctors? What about the nurses? What about the prison officers? Why don't we say for everyone at this rank level of salary, we need a movement upwards by so many points, percentage points? Um, the rationalization and uh, the politics. You raise, you raise one at a time. I'll throw you off the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a struggle, by the way. It's a, it's a struggle. To be a teacher. One must be it's had. It's a struggle to throw him off the show. One, <laughs> <laughs> it's a struggle. One must be had. One must struggle to spy space. Mm. So if I want to spy space, I will spy it. I would find who would buy in space. Um, <laughs> rationalization, mm. rationalizing, who is rationalizing? Because you see, he's a public servant. Mm. This is what you think. No, public servants were usurped. They are no longer public servants. They are now tools. You are a tool for a force. You, you see, you, you've seen a, a general having his shoes cleaned by a soldier. I, I know of generals who have soldiers working in their gardens at home. Mm -hmm. Soldiers. Well, suppose, what, these are soldiers of the country. Mm -hmm. But you deploy them to look after dogs. They're the ones who feed dogs. They, they, they clear the bushes for cows. ETC. State soldiers. Uh, uh, in some cases, you find officers who are supposed to be guarding now become maids. You call them maids? House. 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 So you are no longer a public servant. You are, you are a servant, not even for a, for a regime. You are an, a servant for a regime. You are a tool. Now, if you are a tool, I, I'm talking about an oppressor, I'm talking about an exploiter. He now looks at the value of that tool. Who brings in returns? So if I'm deploying you to UNRWA, what is the mission? Is the mission to work on good quality roads or to fish out money for a specific operation? Now, how are you going to fish out 10 billion and you are hungry? Because this money you are fishing from UNRWA is equivalent to the big guns. That's why you see the one who pilots the president, if he's a soldier and he's a captain, he will earn more than a CDF who is a general. Because, because it's not about the duties. Offering, it's not about the direct the rank. direct yeah. benefit is giving to the country. It's about the direct benefit is giving the the, the the president, the driver of the first lady is not like and is not equivalent to the driver of 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 of, of, of a civil servant that there. They when, are different drivers. So and that would be anywhere else in the world. Uh, no, no. The, uh, Charles, there is the, no way you, know, you, you see, drive the president of America. And you earn like the chauffeur of... Now, uh, it's then you are not informed. There are those secret, ag secret <coughs> agents, whether they are guarding the president or the first lady or what, the, 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 standard. The, the, it's standard. You're a secret agent. Mm -hmm. Because you wouldn't... There can't be other allowances. Uh, and and I, I, I pray I should, be, I should be protected. Um, mm. <laughs> Even when we disagree, we will protect you. <laughs> we will protect yeah. you. Yes, Charles. Uh, 
Now, the first teacher is the home, home, the home leader, uh, uh, that's the father, the, the, the mother. And, and by the way, even in this education system, uh, most of the teaching now is done in the home, the, the, the homework, etc. The second teacher is that formal, teach, formal teacher in the classroom. And the third teacher is society, society generally, in, in educating our children. And uh, now let's look at the products we have. Because if you are calling for higher pay, if you are calling for remuneration, then let's look at your products. When you walk around, you will find the people of Uganda now dropping rubbish in the drainage channels. Yes, people, by the way, are not even shy to drop rubbish in the road. Mm. They, they, they are not shy do, doing that. If you look around, we consume fake products. Fake products. We consume, uh, uh, and, and look at those who are overrun us, to feed us on fake products uh, from, the, uh, from Asia, China, India, uh, 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 you know those groups. So we consume their fake water, we consume their fake sweets, we consume their fake foods, they now supply us even fake drugs. And, and we look on, consuming them. We feed our children on hopeless ice cream. Fake. But we look on. That's the society. Because if you are looking at the products of this education system, of this teacher, uh, 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 the family, those who are managing families now are two decades out of this education system. They, they have their parents now are having children go to the university. Our children don't even want to, to follow these current affairs. They are on the Nigeria, they are on, on those movies, the soaps you can talk about. So that is the product we have produced. Now look at the threats we have. Because for us, we learned about rainlands, we learned about uh, uh, detail of Germany, detail of Europe, detail of America, uh, uh, Panama Canal. Uh, uh. What are they learning about us? The resources we have. Here there is gas, here there is oil, here there is this. And, and they are moving in touch by us because they have mastered the art of violence, uh, the means of violence. Japan occupied China. China went into resistance. Otherwise, uh, by now, China would be subjugated. America attempted at occupying Vietnam. Vietnam went into resistance, and they died in millions. The same is true with the Korea. It's now divided into two. <laughs> General MacArthur overran North Korea. China came in to rescue North Korea. People died in millions. Germany attempted at occupying Russia. They lost, I think, around 25 million people. You see their education system taking them to the moon, but you forget what they went through. France was occupied by Germany. Britain was shared. Now, those countries' education system, the teacher there has constructed an, a, a, a nationalist who stands up to fight oppression and exploitation. Now, for us, we are grappling with internal exploitation. Some people here, some of them not very schooled, young people who gathered up in Ruero and designed, say, why do you go and cut out a robbery somewhere and then they charge you? Why don't we first capture the power that controls Bank of Uganda. Uh, and, and they did it, so they are now, they have a gun, call it Bali Muchin. Uh, and it is them that you are crying to, the to man. help you. You have not raised the consciousness of the people who are now the parents. Because when I was teaching in Masaka, I taught in Masaka, to uh, attend mm. uh, 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 Matanga. And the, the, the parent... PTA. No, 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 I'm talking about the school. Parents. The parent, the parent would give me Matoke. I had enough matoke that I would pack a mirror in sacks and mm. send it to Kampara. Yes, because they wanted to retain us. So, but when you have to say, these teachers from Western Uganda are teaching our children, and they would do everything possible. To, because the parent was conscious about the value the teacher has for the kid. These universities and public sc these schools, you see, were built by the Wanainchi, who did not even get deg uh, degree, uh, uh, university education, high university, higher education, they didn't. But they would even sell their land to equip their children with education. And, and the role of the teacher is to give that education. What have they given? I am struggling with kids on the TV over cartoons. They want to watch cartoons. Now, no, look even at our musicians, because musicians are also teachers. What music are we, are we listening to? Chiwani, Chiwani, they're rubbish, 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 rubbish. You can't hear about nationalism. Like, like Bombardier saying, stand up for your rights, eh? mm. e, 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 don't give up the fight. You don't hear that kind of music anymore. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's your rub real, real rubbish. Mm. Now, then, then, then you have teachers who are religious leaders. Because they are also teachers, uh, uh, religious mm. leaders. Mm. By the way, the most underpaid, if you didn't know. For overall, it's worse. 
mm. those who correct for these exploiters, it's worse. That you kill sheikhs the way you want to kill at ease. Now they have also lost another one. Have you seen any consciousness among religious leaders? It's too wow, we are getting finished. So, if this is what you are, if this is the product you have generated, generated then you deserve what you are facing. In other words, you can't create any political impact. By the way, the way you see in Burundi, there are demonstrations in the urban area, in the city. But the peasants in the countryside are running away. Close to more than 3% of the entire population of Burundi is now uh, on the move, Tanzania, getting, out of, the, or getting mm. out of the country. Um, um, here, the, 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 the parent who, who is in the artificial middle class is running away from public school to private schools. That is why their strike is not making impact. But you parent who is putting in the Kampala parents 1.5 ET million ETC, you are not saving. The teacher. So if you are not saving, the economy is going to collapse because if you spend all the little money you get, by the way, there's even crisis in homes, if you didn't know. Uh, 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 some women's faces have become pale that they must constantly do makeup <laughs> because of the stress, <laughs> because of the stress of school fees. It is serious. Families are going to break up. People are going to commit suicide. Of school, it hurts for your kid to tell you, I want school fees and you can't raise it. Some of us went through that cycle. You wouldn't want to see it with your parents. But these fellows who are managing, but we're going to fight. That's not a problem. We're going to fight them. I'm not worried about that. These exploiters, that, that their children will go to school, ours will not go to school, they should forget it. Yeah, there's they, a number. They, 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 so, they, they, yes, the teachers could occupy political space. We could. You see, soldiers cannot go on strike, cannot unionize. Oh. So are policemen. Because if soldiers wanted to determine their salary, they would determine it. As long as they got organized. That's why teachers initially were prohibited from uni unionizing. Because it's a force. But if their consciousness is uh, as slip as the consciousness of their product, then they can as well be decimated. And, 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 and it would be a good move for Africa to eliminate them. It's teachers. This, this whole generation of hopeless teachers, it's good Africa eliminates them. Because we have a threat. Africa is going to be occupied. We are going to be wiped out by the industrial world because we have the resources. Our children are not prepared. The community is not prepared. And you're only grumbling for your uh, uh, stomach. You're hopeless. Useless. So we need to raise this consciousness. And that's my appeal to them. Let's go to the kid and teach the kid forms of resistance. Teach the kid to resist. Throwing out these agents, because you don't know who put them in the well. You put them there as a tool, and, and you brought them. They brought them. What I mean had achieved for us is no more. We can't compete. We, we are really finished. In, in, in some of these areas you see in Kampala, by the way, where no go zone areas. There is no way black man would do business here in Kampala. Now you check the, the, the high street of Kampala, Kampala Road. is occupied. What are they saying there? Second-hand computers. Did you see any product that we are selling, selling there? So we, we need we need an entire revolution, an entire rethink uh, on how we get out of, of, of this to protect our land and to protect the future generations. Otherwise, all of us are really finished. And right, viewers, um, I'm going to David Puko. Yeah. And uh, you viewers, uh, our numbers are going to be displayed on the set and you're able to call into the show. I know, I hear the passion and the rage in Charles Romshana. Mm -hmm. But I need to hear the solution. I hear you. Away from the fight with Romshana that we shall fight, uh, how? Yeah. Can I hear the hows? Yes. How do you get this pay? What are the things you it's will do? Because, because Pulko yeah, 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 yeah. has been a minister, is a student of uh, political science and uh, economics, should be able to see through the economy. What would happen today if uh, Yoweri Museveni said, Kila Mutu, the teachers, I'm increasing by 100% your pay. Would yep. the economy stand on its feet, the 18 trillion economy? Would we be realistic? What can we do? W if we had a salary commission today, would it change anything? Yep. Would it cut the, pass, uh, the what, what do you call the salary? It's uh, something to pass on. If today I'm earning 50 million, would it cut that money to bring it down so that they give some to Pulko? I'll take a break I and then come right with Pulko. <laughs>